Hey y'all. What's going on with y'all? Happy New Year. <clears throat> Hope y'all had an amazing holiday. You know, um, for those of you who went out or those of you who may have spent it with family, friends. Hope you had an amazing time. We gonna start this year all right. Remember to set those intentions on how you want your year to go. Okay? Make proper plans. <clears throat> Planning to get the goals to come into fruition. Let's see what angel messages we have. Leadership. Archangel, Archangel Gabriel. <clears throat> it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay? So they telling you, like, if you've been feeling like you want to start a spiritually based business, it could be tarot, it could be podcast, it could be just motivational speak. Like, Spirit is saying now is the time to step into your role. Okay? Clear audience, Archangel Ezekiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Mm -hmm. They're speaking to you, okay? And let me tell you something. Even if, um, you know, you don't have clear audience or you didn't experience that yet, they send people to help you. Sometimes people are your blessings. You get what I'm saying? They send it in the form of a person. You could have been struggling and, and needed some type of money. And then, you know, somebody offered you some money. Like, you know, spirit is trying to guide you into this leadership position. All right. <laughs> Compassion. Archangel Ezekiel. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So if you're going through something right now, okay. Spirit is asking you to look at the bigger picture. Have compassion for yourself and for other people. You know, everybody is not wired the same. It's all different types of species, all different types of people. You know, when I say species, you know, I mean, speaking about their soul, who they are. Everybody is not like you. Everybody is different for a reason. Everybody is unique. And you never know why somebody is doing something that you wouldn't do. You look at it like, oh, I wouldn't do that. You know, I, why would they do that? I wouldn't do that. It's because everybody has their own, you know, mission out here. So just be, have some compassion for them. Okay. We got gentleness. Archangel Sandrophon. <clears throat> be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environment. Get away from anything that's not, um, Anything that is not for your highest good. We also have passion. Archangel Hamiel. Trust and follow your renewed passion. And your love life and career. Okay. So some of you may. You know may not have known. Like what business idea. That you may want to step into. Or career. But I feel like if you are looking for guidance. It's coming. The answers are coming to you. Alright let's see what. The romance angels have to say. Give me some quick messages, spirit. <clears throat> uh -oh. Yeah, true love keep coming out, y'all. We got engagement. I think I think that came out yesterday too. Engagement, overall energy. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Attraction. You already, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So somebody is taking control of their life. They're ready to step into this leadership position. Not somebody, your person. You know who I'm talking to. For those of you who are new to the channel and you may not have a person or 
whatever this could talk about somebody a future person this could talk about a past person if you're not interested in the person from the past this could be talking about somebody new that's coming into your life okay and for some of you it may not resonate so if it don't resonate don't try to make it fit Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. So they're saying, so, so far what we got is some of you, your gifts could be heightening. Um, and you, you can hear things, you know, from the spiritual realm. Um, telepathy. You can hear your person. You can hear the angels speak to you. Okay? So um, pay attention. Like, if you quiet the mind, then you'll be able to hear the messages, okay? So those of you who know that it's time to step into a leadership position, I feel like spirit is getting you in position, okay? Spirit is ready to help guide you into that leadership role, okay? And for those of those masculines that are freeing themselves from a previous relationship, connection, engagement, marriage, or whatever, spirit is asking for you to have passion, compassion for um Everybody that's involved, you know, because I feel like these these um, karmic relationships, they they ended up messy. It got real, real messy. And it was other people involved, family, friends. It was just too much going on, you know, and this person had to free themselves. But don't seek revenge. Have compassion. You know, move on with love and light because now you're about to step into your true purpose. OK, they prepared you for your true purpose. Now, you know what you don't want. And what you won't accept. So that, you know, you can start attracting everything that you do want. <clears throat> Your person ready to, you know, take the lead in this situation. What's going on? What we got for true love? Queen of Swords, brilliant experience, harmonious, judgmental, releasing a situation or people that no longer serve, um, seeing the humor in a difficult situation, focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individual. I'm going to sit this right here with free yourself because I'm telling you, this person is not interested in, this person could be in a, a space where you know, they're not moving forward just yet because you got to think about it. If you just got out of a messy ass situation, the last thing you want to do is just jump right into something else. This is not to say that they don't want to come towards you and bring you clarity and truth. But this is to say that this person has to take time to for themselves right now so that they don't miss the opportunity. But they had to clear their way out. They had to clear a path for themselves in order for them to be able to move forward. Okay, and I feel like this person just he's this person is also afraid of your rejection as well. This person is afraid that if they come towards you and finally open up and express their truth, um, you wouldn't be interested or you would reject them. Okay, <clears throat> we have communication that's coming in. Look, a renewal of communication. This person wants to communicate with you again, they want to start back up, um, conversing. They want to open up to you. But right now, it's so much going on. But I feel like this is like the new start for you guys, okay? Um, we also got reviewing the past with compassion. Yeah, and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose in your heart and, know, and you know what to do. Then we got the eight of wands. <clears throat> Too much going on. Stress because stressed caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. So I feel like this person does want to come towards you. They want to speak their truth. They want to express everything that's going on. Um, they're praying that you forgive them for their past actions, okay? Um, they know that they rejected you. They want to open up and tell you um, everything that's going on. Because the Queen of Swords, she communicates her feelings. She communicates. Um, and this person has looked back and recognized where they went wrong at. 
and they want to express something to you. They're coming in fast, though. They're coming in fast to communicate. This is like solid communication. Knight of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. This is very fast. Now, usually the Knight of Wands is in and out energy, but when it came out with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is just this just means that this person wants to rush in. But the Page of Pentacles is very solid, okay? And they communicate clearly. It may have taken a while for this type of communication, but this is definitely something solid. And they want to express it to you. I feel like um, with the night, this is more of a face-to-face. -face. They want to come towards you face-to-face, -face, okay? And the page is more like a conversation over the phone, text, or something like that. Um, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. This person wants to open up to you. They want to tell you that they want a passionate relationship with you. They want to renew this connection. Okay, they want to start over. Um, and this time they want to start it off with truth and clarity. They're praying that you're still interested in them. <clears throat> They're also not interested in the person from the past, that karmic connection. So if you've been thinking about if they would go back to the, that person, no, they don't want it. They're uninterested in it. <clears throat> Whoever this is, it could be a queen of pentacles. That's crazy because this card always come out when I'm talking about that. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be your person. This could just be the energy that that person is in or this could be you. But whoever this is was somebody that was materialistic. They were dealing with someone that was very materialistic. Okay. Um, and maybe um, self-centered focus on that self. But the Queen of Pentacles and the Upright, this could talk about the energy that you're in as well when it comes to um, being generous, practical, gracious, okay? The ability to make anything more beautiful, like you add love to it, a love of family at home. Like everything you do is with love, okay? And that's what's attracting this person to you and everything else that you want including career wise like if you've been going through financial struggle that's about to end yeah there's an ending to any um financial struggle struggles in your relationship your current relationship or um the relationship that you're trying to bring into fruition that you've been manifesting this person manifesting you too as well what you want wants you you're attracting them to you um, and they're attracting you to them. This is no more of that devilish energy where they're like, you're mine, you belong to me, and trying to lure you in through dark magic and sexual magic and stuff. This is like pure positive energy. This is also talking about an ending to karmic cycles, um, things that um, you completed your whole karmic cycle like you didn't already went through all the major tough lessons and now you're ready to for a new start okay a brilliant success a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment freedom to do whatever you want be proud of yourself yes 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 you got a partnership that's coming in do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft Working well with others and an excellent reputation. People love you and your person, okay? I feel like this is also talking about your person love you regardless of who tried to say what. Because it could have been somebody that was lying on you, trying to paint a bad picture of you. But I feel like your person is uninterested in, in what anybody else has to say about you. Because they know your soul. We got relief here. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situation or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Okay, this person is ready to transform. This Not ready, they are. Because this energy that's here, this is somebody who's in the process of transforming already. They're already going through that process. They're ready to open up to you. They know that you're... you're ooh, I'm tongue twisted. Yeah, they want to say it. 
They got a lot that they want to get off their chest. <laughs> they know that you're their true love. They're very much attracted to you. They're ready to open up and communicate with you. It might start off a little flirty or just lighthearted, like, hey, how you doing? How you been? It might start off surface level, okay? But this person has a lot of things that they want to free off their chest. They want to get off their chest. And they're ready to do it. They also want to, like, be more solid when it comes to communication. This won't be like an in and out energy where they come in and then ghost you, come in. And I feel like that's why it took so long, Page of Pentacles, because they didn't want to, they, they're going through their own lessons. So they didn't want to have to come in and then, you know, now they're going through something and then leave out. They want to be solid when it comes to this connection because they know you deserve it and they know they deserve it too. They had to become... They had to feel worthy of this connection. Your patience is about to pay off. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, the star. You've been healing yourself, loving yourself. And now you have everything that you've been waiting for is ready to come in for you. Planning for the long-term abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. And we got the star with the Knight of Cups under that. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel is here for you. This person is ready to interact with you too. This person is ready to pour out their emotions. They have a lot of emotions. Look, they're coming in. This is like, <laughs> yo, I don't know why they just told me super saver whole energy. <laughs> he rushing in like that. Da -da -da. I got these feelings for you, babe, and they're overwhelming, and I want to express it. He going to pour them, pour them feelings out. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situation, or topics that make your heart flutter, <laughs> a love of art and poetry. So your person could be a musician or a poet, but also this, you know, this person, you know, may not have or may not be able to express themselves in a very mature way, but they know that they got a lot that they want to get off their chest. So they're going to say it as mature as they can. <laughs> this person has done a lot of healing. They want to bring healing to this connection. Okay. There's an end to the tough cycles. Your patience is paying off. Okay. So you have to believe it in order for it to come into fruition. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.